in our music, in our sharing, um, we're not just speaking about what's happening. We are being the living activation in our words and in our sharing together collectively. So in being that activating activation, what does it really mean to deliberately open up to our consciousness to that cosmic love? Is, is, is that consciousness something that we own right now? Is it something that we can just control and manipulate? Or is it opening what we are being to what we most deeply are as the essence of our divinity, pouring forth from the invisible center and the holy of holies within our own hearts right here and right now in this moment? Is it activating our presence of humanity? Is it pouring forth through us right now? Or is it surrounding us, looking to break in through those layers? And I hope that we can see and hope that we can feel that just by putting our collective attention on our divine source of oneness, all of those myriads of pieces come together in an instant. It doesn't require individual human hands and fingers to put those pieces together. When we are activating the activation of our divine presence, can we know what is entering? Can we know where it's entering from? Can that presence of oneness and radiant divine being really ever be contained by the consciousness that is opening up to it? I suggest that when we open to cosmic consciousness in this manner, we become a radiant knowing of that which we are and a radiant, loving, invisible response to the invisible that becomes immediately apparent through our hearts, through our eyes, through our faces, through the sound of our voice, through every movement that we make. It, it stretches far and wide, far beyond what we think our individual um, words and deeds are, are actually touching. And one man said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So I say, let us open our consciousness in every moment to the source that we are, the source of cosmic love, that we may know the living div divinity that we are, that we may live that living divinity and easily shed that which we are not and truly be alive as the eternal source of the vibration of love together here and now in every moment.